Why not use InDesign? Because it's a pain in the padded ass. But if you are truly determined to make a completely customized bullet point in InDesign, it can be done. And look, if you're gonna be using this character style all the time, or you really wanna impress your clients, or you're just neurotic about this stuff and using a font like Windings doesn't cut it, then it totally makes sense for you to do this. So follow along with me for the most convoluted InDesign tutorial ever. Okay, first things first, you need an SVG of your customized bullet. So in a program like Illustrator, design your bullet, select your graphic, and go to File, Export Selection. Select SVG under your format and save it. Now we need to turn your SVG into a font file. Please stay with me. There are a few Illustrator scripts that you can use to do this, but if this is just a one-off, you can go to glifter.com, drag your SVG into the first box, give your font a name, download it, and then install it onto your machine. Back in InDesign, highlight your bulleted list, and in your Properties panel, under Bullets and Numbering, press Options. Hit Add and select your new font from the dropdown. Find your custom bullet, hit Add and press OK. You still with me? If you check Preview here, you'll see your bullet in place, but it likely won't be positioned or sized quite right. So before we close, we're gonna hit New Character Style here, give it a name and press OK. Now, under Character Styles, we're gonna hit the Edit button next to the character style that we just made and make our tweaks. In my humble opinion, your bullet should align to the baseline of your type and be as tall as the X height. But that's subjective and it totally depends on the shape of your bullet, so you do you. And now you have a completely bespoke bullet to impress your friends, your clients, and your lovers.